queen of the channel, Alison Spita, MBE. What about the red tomato kitchen? Well, we're joined here by Chef Paul Ranking with kid of the channel, Kevin Murphy. So, come on then, Alison. Uh, how many times have you swam the English channel? 43. 43 <laughs> times. <laughs> What possesses you? Why do you keep going back for more and more? Well, it's just a bit of punishment, you know. I've got a yeah. bit of a relationship with the channel now. Yeah. So, you know, that's what I enjoy doing. And, and you're the only woman that's actually done this, aren't you? I'm the only woman that's done it three times non-stop. That's oh. 34 hours and 40 minutes. How long? <laughs> 34 hours and 40 minutes. Did you stop for a bite or anything like that? Um, quick drink now and then. Yeah. yeah that's you, about it. You've just got to keep going. What a phenomenal thing to do, isn't it? Quite incredible. Mm. Are you quite good in the cooking department? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hence, I've come in. I'm hoping Nick's going to create something wonderful for me. Let's have a look at your ingredients. Go on. Okay. Yeah, give it a good old tip. There we yeah. are. Oh, oh. wonderful. I yeah. didn't want that to just squash everything else, really. Yeah. And, and uh, what have we got ooh, here? Uh, yeah, lovely. Yeah, ginger, yeah. which is great on the boats when you're feeling a bit queasy. Mm -hmm. Love yeah. ginger. Yep. Um, prawns, they're my friends, you know, I'll swim with them. I'd like them to come to a nice end, you know. <laughs> You're picking them out of your hair exactly. at the end of the year. Yeah, I've just come back from Australia and, um, you know, the corns and the barbie, that was about as, you know... We'll best, do something very nice with yeah. Lovely. Don't worry. And, you know, pineapple's great when you come out the water after five or six hours, you know, your tongue's all salty. And that's, that's and value for money. That's a value yeah, for money, pineapple. Lovely. Patchouli, yeah. udon noodles. How much did you spend, Alison? Seven pounds fifty. <clears throat> yeah, lovely. Well, we're talking about a good old sort of bistro bag here, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of lovely ingredients here, but uh, does our chef approve? Nick? Very much so. Yeah. 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 You like that? I, I love pineapples. One of okay. my favourite fruits, yeah. Mm. So, He'll teach you how to cook and you can teach him how to do the old backstroke. All right, love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rubbish in swimming. <laughs> Let's get over here, Reed Kevin. Welcome to the programme. Hi. Great to have Hi. you here. You are called the uh, king of the uh, water, aren't you? Yes. King I, of the I, channel. I've done 34 crossings. Wow. And now, I know, I know she's done 43. It's sickening, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it quite a sort of competitive between both of you then? So you obviously appear to be mates. Yes. It's, it's reasonably competitive. But mm -hmm. um, to be honest, uh, she's younger than I am. So if yeah. I tried to yeah. catch her up, I'd yeah. be on the Zimmer frame and she'd still be going. Oh, <laughs> dear. And have you ever swum together? Um, yes, but you, you can't swim the channel two swimmers with one boat because right. that's dangerous. You, you, for safety reasons, it's one swimmer, one boat. Um, and uh, that's it, really. Okay. Is it like and, a wee uh, rowboat thing? Oh no, no, no! It's a big, no. it's a big uh, motor oh, launch. It's a big so boat. It's a big motor yeah. launch. Yes. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of one. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? More to come, ladies and gentlemen. They've swum all over the world. These guys. There's so much wonderful information that they've got. But uh, first, let's have a look at your bag. What do you right. got for our chef here? Right. Got to give that a go. Okay. Well, no. well, um, good bit of rump steak because I need building up. You see, so if I'm yeah. if I'm going to do the channel again and yeah. try and catch Alison up, you know, I've got to. Build up the muscle of that. Okay. Okay, so. um, now, um, yeah. this, this might surprise you. Prunes. Yeah. Mm. Prunes, uh, I love prunes when I'm swimming. I'm sure they keep you regular in the water, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> okay, we've got some lovely French beans there, Silton, oh. and a sweet potato. Sweet, sweet potato, I, I like the taste. Yeah. Um, I've, I, usually I see it uh, not, not quite with, a, with a, the, the skin on, but... Uh, lovely. Because you don't cook much, do you? Unfortunately, I'm very good at porridge. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't you bring some oats then? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, actually, when I'm swimming, mm. uh, prunes, yeah. porridge and high-carbohydrate drink, they're yeah. the regular things that... Mm. Uh, lovely. Um, but you didn't bring any of that. No, okay. Oh, you got the prunes. Well, some other lovely ingredients here, mm. and including the old sweet potato, mm. how much did you spend? Seven pounds fifty-one. Oh, quite good. And am I right in saying that if you prepare a free course meal and you win today, your daughter's promised to swim the English Channel with you? Yes. Uh, what I want is a family relay, and oh. my daughter has promised me if I can cook her a three-course meal, she will take part in the Channel relay. But I don't hey. need to take pressure, part, right? Pressure. Well, I, I, pressure. Don't, they, swim, I don't know. Right? You this, get yeah, on with it. Not? What are you going to yes. cook over here, Nick? Right. Okay. Pineapple. Down the middle and half, uh -huh. um, hollow it out, uh, make a nice meringue, pipe it on top and uh, glaze that with a blow lamp. The other half will do a carpaccio of pineapple mm -hmm. with a little bit of it and, and a lime syrup with a little bit of lime mousse. And the rest of it will make a pineapple upside down cake with a sponge on top. Then we'll make... Uh, there's more. What? There's more. Oh, yes. There's more, the prawns. Yeah. Um, we'll do uh, an Asian noodle salad, cold mm. uh, Asian noodle salad, and then we'll do a lovely stir-fry with the prawns and the ginger and the chilli and all this hot, sweet, you know, honey, soy, lime, uh, and bring that all together with some of the uh, pak choy. 
What do you Perfect. think? That sounds brilliant. Sounds Can't good. Wait. Oh, three different ways with pineapple. It's your favourite. Oh, Kevin, what's, what's he got <laughs> in store? At least two of my recipes in there, you know? Yeah, they really yeah, yeah, yeah. At least two. Okay, what I'm going to I'm going to divide this into two. One's going to be a nice spicy beef curry, a good manly dish. Serve with that some uh, lemon, uh, sweet potato, coriander, mash. The other will do a great big steak sandwich, caramelised onions, blue cheese, butter. We'll do a uh, prune and orange upside down spongy cake thing, which is nicked from me. And uh, he's nicked from me. He's nicked from me. Uh, and and uh, other stuff. Other stuff. Mm. Other, other stuff. stuff. Sound good to you? Yes. I'm waiting to see what he does with the prunes. Really? Why? Mm. Well, I, I only know them in mid-channel, you see. They're, they're very high in, in, um, in carbohydrates. Keeps going on about it, doesn't he, eh? <laughs> <laughs> They're very high in fruit sugar. <laughs> All right, then, we'll talk more about that after we get our chef started. But I say, ready, steady, cook. OK, 20 minutes now, ladies and gentlemen. This is when our chef's really kicking to get the food out. Always a little bit of panic going on for the last couple of minutes, but that's what makes it so exciting. First, we're going to kick off here with Nick doing something with his pineapple, I fear. Is that right, Chef? Um, yeah, I just want to get the water on for the noodles to get those cooked and timings. Uh -huh. And uh, and that goes uh, there. And yeah. then if I could get uh, Alison to do me the mm. prawns. I mean, it's not the best job in the world. And um, I'm just going to get a couple of bits and pieces here. The pineapple, first thing we're going to do with that, come back here. Mr. So Lime, why, thank why you. are you such a big fan of the pineapple, then? Where, where did this all come from? Uh, the pineapple, when I was a kid, we went to the Azores on a cruise, and we yeah. went to uh, a place called Ponta Delgada, uh -huh. and we tasted pineapple there, and it was one of the best things I've ever tasted in my entire life. Was it Just, the first time you'd eaten pineapple? Yeah, I think yeah. it actually was. It was I quite a rarity. Yeah, absolutely. People as old as us. Aye. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, it, was a, it was a real kind of rarity. The <laughs> other thing I remember when I was a kid that was a real rarity was, um, was pink grapefruit. Mm -hmm. You just didn't get uh, pink grapefruit in, in those days. So what we're going to do with this is cut out like a little uh, boat from the inside, so just mm -hmm. round through. Try not to go through the skin like so. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to use a spoon, actually, just to cut all this out. But we, the bit that we'll lose is this bit in the centre here. OK, this is the, uh, the growing bit in the middle. Mm -hmm. Do you and ever it's a use that? Tough. Because it's, uh, it's wonderful for tenderising things, the juice for pineapple, isn't it? Yeah. When you're, um, on, uh, you know, you're making barbecues and stuff like that, you can use the juice, papaya seeds and yeah. stuff like that, crushed down with pineapple. I'm just going to get Alison to do this for me. If I give you a spoon, okay. Alison, <coughs> and a bowl, what you could do, once you've done the prawns, and probably wash He's not hands. letting you up, is he, Alison, eh? If you could get He's in here and scoop nice all and this out, OK? Like that, and scoop it into the, the pieces into okay. the bowl there. Okay. Right, we'll come back to uh, this bit here, and mm -hmm. I'm going to lose this. It seems an awful shame, because it's so uh, pretty, these the tops. I don't know, if, does this thing right? If you pull it out, it means it's right, Andover. Well, you put it out and have a little bit of a sniff, yeah. They say <laughs> if it comes out easy, really, yeah. that's what you're looking for. If, it's, uh, if there's a bit of resistance and stuff like that, it's not quite, quite right in the middle. So That's some right. of this, what we're going to do is we're going to take it out and we're going to make a little bit of caramel in here. It's going to melt down, so this makes a little bit oh too yeah. much sugar. Um, to melt down some caster sugar in here, mm. put the bits of pineapple into that, and then I want to make a, a sponge to go on top of that. OK. And we'll well, I'll, let you, I'll let you continue with some trimmings. I'll okay. come back and see your sponge in a moment. Is that right? Yes, you can come back and see my sponge any time you like. Oh, yeah. lovely. I can't <laughs> wait. Hey, I'm looking at I'm going to look at his sponge. What have you got to show me? <laughs> I can show you a sponge. You don't need to, you don't need to go over there to see his sponge. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just going to be making the sponge in a minute. So this yeah. is the basis for the prune and orange uh, tart that, that mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing, yeah? Good combination, they work it's well It's a together. delicious combination, yeah. absolutely. It's one of those kind of classic combinations. Prunes and citrus work really, really well together. Mm. Now, the reason why we can do this is these are these semi-soft prunes that you can just munch down, no problem, yeah? Yeah. So for the sponge batter, we're going to take four ounces of butter, four ounces of sugar, yeah. four ounces of self-raising flour, um, which I'm sure Nick is doing as watch well. Your, watch your legs there, Chef. There you go. And I'm going to get this, this one up here. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll show you a little trick as far as measuring out mm. this sort of stuff is concerned. Yeah. If one cup of flour is, is four ounces, yeah. half a cup of flour uh, sugar is four ounces, OK? So we're, okay. Look, we're looking for half a cup, mm -hmm. which is... Um, you don't need to get down there to show me, Paul. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> So that's Lovely. sort of the American way to do it, yeah? Right, then, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you come? Oh, yeah. well, this is what you, you call battle of the sponges, ladies and gentlemen. We've got one here, this one's measured.